All right, Grant, how have you been, pal? Yeah, I've been good. I've been good. And uh, enjoying spending a bit of time with the family and that. Um, Missus is seven months pregnant, so I think she's appreciating having me in the house and helping you know, with the day to day stuff and that. Um, but I think it's it's just strange, isn't it? It's, like, it's sort of a strange time to be living in. You know, I don't think anybody's sort of experienced it before. Um, I think, first of all, obviously, there's like the sort of the worry there for, I know certainly for me personally, my both my mum and my sister are NHS workers, so they're like kind of working on the front line. And obviously, first of all, you're you know you're kind of worried about them, and you know hoping they're all right. Um, obviously, things like with the like grandparents and that as well. I've got older grandparents that um, you know obviously you worry about them straight away. But I think just sort of try and keep yourself busy, and you know, no worry about it too much, and try and do as much as you can. You'll know yourself that. Obviously, when there's so much unknown around what's going on, you're you're, you're constantly on the phone to you know to the club, to players, and yeah. the boys are what I know what's going on, and there's not really many answers at the minute. You know, you can't really tell people um, when we're going to be starting back. Ah, uh, when you're going to be starting yeah. back, everything that's happening. Um, but I think you just got to try. Yeah. If everyone knew, like there was a set date that everyone could start. I back, know. You can work towards that, but. I know it's, exactly. It's the unknown now. That's the biggest thing. And that's that's where it makes it difficult. Obviously, you want to try and stay professional, and you know you've obviously got to keep yourself fit, and yes. you know mentally ready to, to start again. But you know what it's like in, in the summer. It, you'll have a probably a couple of weeks or, or a week or so totally resting, and then at least you know right. I've got to get fit for the first of June, say when you're back pre season. Yeah. But you've not really got that, so you're at the minute. It's a bit like. Like how much did I do? Am I doing too much? Am I doing too little? You want to kind of time it right. So, you know, when you go back to to training, you're you're ready. You're ready to go, and you're no you've not done too much, and you're you've not done too little kind of thing. So it's tough, but I think it, it's good though in terms of you know keeping yourself fit and doing that exercise, especially mentally to get yourself up and get yourself going in the morning, get yourself in a bit a bit of a routine, and um you know and keep going. I think I'm quite lucky doing here because. The weather's better for a start. <laughs> I mean, the the weather the weather's been beautiful since we sort of went into this lockdown. So yeah, you know, spend I've got a couple of dogs as well, so we spend a lot of time in the garden. And you know, I mean, I think if the, if it had been if the weather had been sort of raining that other time, you're stuck inside, it might have been a bit more miserable. But no, we're, we're coping all right. And obviously, I think you've just got to look at the bigger picture as well, and you know, think that there's there's people in a lot worse situations than what we're in. And, um, like I said, biggest thing for me is uh, you know just appreciating spending time with your family. Yeah, could you imagine people in flats and stuff like that with kids and That's what not, I mean. not being allowed out and being stuck in Scotland, especially with the, with the weather as well, mate. Exactly. The last week it's been actually quite nice, but if we're lucky enough. We've got gardens. We've got uh, I've got three mental kids to be perfectly honest, and Aye. they're probably more hyperactive than what I am. So you can imagine what my household's been like. Aye, no, I can imagine. I can imagine. I've got two dogs that are absolutely bonkers as well, so they keep you busy. But like I said, I've got one in the way, so even with that as well, it's just strange. You know, you don't know what's going on. And yeah, that's try to get to see uh, midwife appointments and scans and all the rest of it. It's just a bit. Just uh, a bit something just, to go on her own. Uh, I actually something to go on on her own. I so. Yeah, that, that, that's the thing, especially seven months pregnant. It's scary thought, but I know. Are you managing to keep yourself fit? Are you what you're doing? That you've got we've uh, we've got a, uh, I think he's head of performances, his titles, um, kind of like a sports scientist, I suppose. Yeah. He's on it like our our programs are are heavy. Boys and are. We've got heart rate monitors. Straddles, oh, we've got everything. I've got everything. There's there's no there's no hiding. There's no hiding <laughs> whatsoever. They've got the they they've got some um, like the bikes in that out early doors. So the boys who do that in the yes. house, and they've got. Um, They've, they've got the programs out. Obviously, the, the guidelines are one hour a day. So, you know, I think make the most of that one hour. The, don't you? Uh, the club are making the most of that, and you know, try to get as much in as we can. So, but we've always been like we train really hard here. Like yeah. when I think about what what I was used to when I was kind of you know coming through as sort of as a young professional, it was your week was sort of playing a Saturday off Sunday, easy day, uh, easy day Monday, off train Wednesday. hard Tuesday, off Wednesday. But it totally changed me. We are hard session Tuesday and double on a Wednesday. Monday, double on a Wednesday as well. Double on a Wednesday, aye. So your your days off are a Monday. So the boys are kind of used to training really hard, but 
and I suppose yeah. it's tough for the club as well and, and for the, the sort of sports science side because they've got to try and uh, balance it both. Uh, they've got to try and balance it so that yeah. you know the boys aren't losing their head with them too much and uh, it's hard because the lads are only playing as well try to keep their fitness levels and then the lads that are playing trying to get them the cool down getting them to the cover that, that they need as well but you well, also exactly. have sessions that you can go out and give a proper blast and to be fair lucky for you you're getting a weddings they mate we've not had a midweek like off in months so it's been hard for us we're like literally Saturday weddings they are Thursday Sunday really? so it's it's harder for the ones that aren't playing that many games Aye. for us because mm-hmm. they're out there bursting their lungs to be perfectly honest and the days that we're having a cool down and we're sitting Aye. there on the bikes watching them getting a session no I've, I've been in that position of uh a few times and there's nothing worse day after the game you're already no happy because you maybe no played or whatever or the team's yeah. got a bad result you're already your head's not in a good place and then you've got to go out and and, uh, and they're always the hardest sessions as well aren't they Sunday <laughs> morning when the when the boys are cooling down and you've got to go and work your uh, work your off so to speak <laughs> it's that motivation as well no I know. about seven or eight people training and you're thinking yeah, it's it's not going to be the best session. There's going to be no. a lot of running. There's not going to be a lot of balls, and you just got to get your head around it. But Aye. it's part and parcel, ain't it? That's what's going to But here's hoping we've got a lot more of that to look forward to than uh, the sitting in the house and hopefully. We'll I know, I know. I've just got to get through it, and then it's obviously how far has it got to go? Has it got to push into next season, and what sort of is there going to be any sort of break in the summer as well? You know, that's that's part of it as well. That you know the clubs and the players need to take into account because like you said there, there does need to be some period where you can rest yeah um, it's tough on the body booked? nothing booked luckily so no, I know a few boys I know a few boys that have had that had uh, uh, well actually I was best man at a wedding this summer it's just been you had to cancel it you had to move yeah. it back to uh, October was the earliest date you could get so whether I'm uh, whether I'm going to be able to make that I know with the obviously with the football it's yeah. going to be tough, but um, it's all right. You're getting good at this uh, video speeches, so you can send one into him. Well, I'm not sure about that. That's <laughs> that's when it gets awkward. At least when you're having a conversation, you can kind of a paper like this, mate. Here you go. Right. Like oh, honestly, I'm 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 the worst in the world at them. We've had <laughs> uh, obviously we've been doing kind of video messages to like say NH- NHS workers and things like that, and yeah, we have my missus standing with the we're all written out, and I'm like <laughs> reading it out and like just look like honestly. Most awkward guy in the world, that kind of stuff. I'm uh, absolutely like nightmare. To be fair, I'm not far behind you. We've been doing it up here as well, and I've had a bit of paper behind trying to memorise it, but also having that wee glance as well. And it's... Oh, you can't, there's no way you're memorising it. No, no way you're memorising it. To be fair, I'm, str- I'm lucky if I can actually write my own name and read my own name. <laughs> That's a problem. Yeah, you should try doing kids' homework, mate. I was well, going to say, aye. How's that, how's that going? Homeschooling. <laughs> Up at nine, Joe Wicks at nine. In you go, kids. How's that going? Are they getting like loads of stuff sent through to the school, or is it? Yeah, well, most of it's on the internet, so it's not actually too bad. So they do nice. the Zoom chats as well. The teacher puts them all in, then she moots most of them, then speaks to them and stuff that on, nice. on that. And then there's also been a lot of them sent through by email. What they've got to do for this week's session. So the teachers are kind of trying to keep it as easy as possible for you. So you just kind of uh, bits and bobs you got to print off for them. And nice. they know everything's not going to go inch perfect because homeschooling, they never seem to listen to the parents as well as they do the teachers. But uh, uh, Plus, when there's sun outside as well, they, they think lunch break becomes two hours. So I'm not sure how that one's working. How many sort of hours have we got a day, per day or per week? Is it a lot or is it sort of... They try and say, try and keep it to the school hours, but uh, it's hard <laughs> when one runs away, you've got to go and get another one and... You've got a, a three-year-old that wants to go and do something as well. So between me, the missus, and three kids, it's uh, yeah, it's great fun, mate. I can imagine it's hard work. <laughs> it's all coming to you. Don't you worry, Bob. Oh, no. I know. I'm looking forward to it. 